let's relive a little Milo Magic with the top 10 shots from the Beaver State Fling. Starting things off, it's Eagle McMahon, getting smart on the Genius Hole during round 2. Gets a friendly roll. And for 2, count it. I always love it when he does that whole score matches his name thing. Number 9, Vanessa Van Dyken is Vanessa Van dropping. Long putts yeah! with the 50 footer. Yeah, that one definitely deserves a slow mess. Just keeping it in on the left side. Coming in at number eight, it's not the Audubon, but Simon Lazad is still driving some high power German machinery down the fairway. Sneaking around the trees. Surprise, surprise, he is parked. Coming in at number 7, we're heading back to the women's division with Ellen Widboom. Full commitment. Full extension. She cans it. Shout out to Empower Disc Golf for capturing that shot. Number 6, we've got Garrett Gerthy with a little bit of throwback. I'm a boom. Yes, he's a street fighting man. He tied for third place at the event. Tied for 11th at the tournament, but number 1 in your hearts, Paul McBeth. With a layout connection of his own. Coming in at number 5. With number four, Drew Gibson's breakout campaign continues, and this time he is doing it with the putter. No window, no ceiling, no problem. He tied for fifth. Coming in at number three, we've got a Bradley Williams sighting. In the rain, making it rain a little bit of his own. That'll do. Thanks to the disc golf guy for capturing a little bonus footage. Number two, the game changer. Katrina Allen on hole 17 during the final round, throwing down the roller. And that is going to end up right where she wants it. Allen took the fling in a one-hole playoff over Paige Pierce. She loves it in Portland, and Portland loves Eagle McMahon. We are going to end right where we started with the 20-year-old driving for the pin on hole 12 during the final round. And he will take home the win, his third on the national tour this season. Thanks to Central Coast Disc Golf for the collaboration. And be sure to stay tuned to Jomez Productions for more coverage throughout the season. We've got the Utah Open coming up this week. We'll see you then.